here we are and uh, I got an updated Eclipse here Mars point two most recent version that has been released I could get neon but uh, that's not released yet it's very buggy anyway so I, I'm gonna show you a rays today um there's two main types of rays that I find really um, easy to use there's there's another kind dynamic rays but I'm not gonna go into that cuz that would that is just too long to do that's uh, too difficult anyway so let's uh, create a project here as well as a class let's call it And I still have constructors from superclass checked. Oh, great. Okay, let's just um, replace it here. Okay, so there's a actually every time you make a Java, a Java class and put this in it, you're making an array or you're requiring an array because uh, this is how you declare an array, a standard array. Um, yeah, basically, if you want to do an array, uh, this is actually wrong. And let's hover over this real quick to find out what exactly. Okay, so these two don't do that. Okay, you don't want to do that. Not if you, not if you really want to. But you can it, depending on the variable type. So say I wanted it to be an integer array. You can do this. And ta-da! All right, works with most data types that I know of. Uh, if there isn't something like if you want just like dynamic array, you can just do that and name it whatever you like here. <coughs> and uh, I could put anything I wanted in that. Okay, and uh, one last thing, uh, to uh, this is initialization, but to declare it, you need to put that, and then values in here, and uh, it's like five, one, two, three, four, sixty-eight, another five, and those are all integers, but uh, here. we could put dang it we could put stuff like hi 45.5 6 5 point random decimal I probably did it with oh my gosh goodness I didn't well that's good but these are actually four different data types here. Anyway, so that sums up arrays, uh, declaration, and all of that. Now to do stuff like clone, you can clone it. And it's taking a while. So that clones the array. Now, I specifically don't know where it goes, but oh well. And then there's a uh, two string, or yep, two string. So it takes everything and puts it out as a string, 
and then there is length which gets the length how or how many items are in there now that is not index count by the way index count so this would be index 0 1 2 3 it just if you do dot length it just returns 4 which is really helpful with for loops cuz uh you can just do less than hug okay that sums up arrays now for the more versatile uh, array list equals new array list okay now there's actually two problems with this but right now we're gonna import this so this this is a this is basically an array list of raw data types so we can add this here and it will ignore every every error that has to do with raw types here on this part or every warning rather suppress warnings anyway so okay. uh, if, if we want to do anything in particular we'd have if we want to do like data type and have to not do the raw types we could do object and object and there we have an array list of unknown stuff now this works very similar to a dynamic array except with a lot less code like one line of code to declare it instead of a whole class like a hundred lines at least anyway so we can do add and just type in whatever we want and there and then uh, there's size what what okay there's size which is like the uh, array dot get length or array dot length okay and then there's get which uh, I didn't show you with arrays so I'm going to show you that now so to get an item from an array type the name of the array square brackets and in between the square brackets type the index number and uh, this is producing an error because uh, it's not doing a thing it's just saying oh read this don't do anything with that one second yeah okay, I am back uh, okay then there is a dot get and then index um, is empty returns if it's empty or not remove at an index at all which works really good with arrays clear which clears everything clone for each index of which um, gets the index of an object So yeah, replace all sort. There's like tons of stuff to array, to string, trim to size, all of that. Okay, so now let's uh, do something that uses arrays and array lists okay so 
I'm gonna leave this here because we're gonna be using array lists. Okay, so let's um let's make an array list. Public static array list and um object array equals new array list object parentheses done okay and then uh public static object data equals this okay so we're gonna produce a completely random number uh, going up to a million public static int num no wait it's it's double we need to do double for this cuz yeah. so we do num equals math dot double or sorry math dot random times one million and we can just add math dot seal it's in that so now it'll come up with a random number between zero and one million And it will be a whole number. Okay, now let's uh, public static print numbers. Num. We don't need. We don't even need this right now. and it needs to have that so now if we go and type print numbers there uh, we can do a Let's make a for loop int i equals zero i is less than num let's make that less than or equal to i plus plus Okay, so now uh, we can type um, a dot add i, and that'll be every number from zero to the number it chose, and put them all into a. Okay, and then data equals a dot two array. Okay, then we can make another for loop here for int i equals zero. I is less than data length i plus plus uh, we can do system dot out dot print line. And then we can do 
data i no, okay now let's run this okay so it's gonna take a little while to finish and terminate but Okay, so it was uh, 194,980. Pretty cool, right? It just uh, copied it here, and it did it all in order. So let's open the console again. Scroll up. Okay, as you might not be able to see correctly, but it did it all in order, and it stuck, and it... Uh, cut off everything before 184,384 which is a bummer but oh well okay um that sums it up it sums up a raise <sighs> goodbye